Hey guys, it's your girl Snow White. So glad you're tuning into this video because I'm going to be talking about the controversial Alliance banks. Now, I got mixed feelings about these banks. Why? Because they're not actually used the way that they're meant to be used. So in this video, I'm going to cover all the do's and don'ts if you set up an Alliance bank and what their purpose is and also steps on how you can actually make it an effective Alliance bank if you choose to have one. So before we get into the video, make sure you hit subscribe down below and turn on those notifications. Let's get into it. Let's start with the basics. What is an Alliance Bank? Well, it's pretty straightforward. It's someone's castle that has been designated to receive weekly resource donations from all the members of the Alliance. Now, some places have Kingdom Banks, which is kind of the same thing. And you also get resources not only from the Alliance members, but from the entire kingdom. You may be wondering, why would I want to donate my resources when I've worked so hard to farm them into someone else's castle? Well, there's a few reasons, and I'll get into the purposes of Alliance Bank. The main reason people set up these Alliance Banks is usually for KVK. What you want is to have a source that in case your fighters run out of resources, you're able to give them more assistance using the Alliance Bank. Now, there is other reasons to set up these Alliance Banks. They should be also used to assist the smaller players or any other player that is contributing into the alliance in order to get them to increase their power so they can be more useful. Let's start with what you should do if you decide that you do want to have an alliance bank. Tip one is making sure that when you do pick the castle that you want to use as your alliance bank, it at least has a trading post of level 25. Now, this may be difficult if it's in a new kingdom and you're not up there yet, but you want to try to get the highest level of trading post for that alliance bank in order to save the taxes when you're doing the transferring of resources. Because, you know, no one really enjoys paying their taxes. Tip two, who should be able to log into these alliance banks? Ideally, you want your R5 and your R4s. However, you don't want just one person being able to log in because what if they're not online and you've got KBK war, you've got fighters that need resources and he's nowhere to be found. So hopefully you have an account where you can give access to your trusted R4 and R5, ideally two or three. Tip three, you should really have a database to ensure that all the collections that you're receiving are recorded. Now this database should be edible by all the people that have access into the Alliance Bank. However, for fair game, it should also be visible to all the members in the Alliance or the Kingdom for them to see who they're actually contributing and where their resources are being sent to. Why make it visible to everybody you ask? Well, it's only fair. If people are donating their resources to you, they want to make sure that you know that they're being used properly. So they want to see that you've recorded that they've donated and also that it's being sent to the proper places and the right people. Because hey, let's be honest, there's a lot of favoritism in this game. And sometimes the same people continuously get the resource assistance where other people really are suffering and it's kind of unfair. Tip four, you want to ensure that you set up a reasonable weekly contribution for your alliance. Now, say you're doing it every week on a Friday, you don't want to ask too much of everybody. It all depends really on what kind of kingdom you have, what kind of alliance you have, and the player's powers as well. You don't want to be asking the little guys to be contributing large amounts of resources when they can barely farm it all. And tip five, alliance banks should be used to store MGE fines. So, what does that mean? When you get fined for doing something wrong or breaking MGE rules, you usually have to pay up. And where does that resource go to? And who does it go to? Hmm, a lot of the time it just goes to the king or an R4. And that's quite unfair because it should technically be going into an alliance bank that's set up for everybody and not just the greedy, selfish little people. Now, let's get into the mistakes and the don't do's of alliance banks. Because, hey, we all know that a lot of the time, they're not used correctly. Mistake number one, Alliance Banks should not just benefit T5 players. They should be benefiting all the players in the Alliance who contribute. Mistake number two is not asking everybody to donate fairly and equally. A lot of the T5 players are exempted from actually donating to these Alliance Banks because, hey, they're going to be the ones that are getting most of the benefits from them. And that's not quite fair, is it? 
And mistake number three is having favoritism and only favoring those that are T5s. Once again, everybody should be treated equally and that's why the database should be available to all so everybody can see who's getting the most amount of resources and whether it's beneficial for them to have gotten all that resources. And mistake number four is when you are sending resources to any player who asks for it, is just sending it based on their word. You can't do that. You need screenshots and you need proof that they've actually used it properly and what it was used for. Overall, I've never really been a big fan of Alliance Banks only because they've never really been managed correctly. It does usually benefit the T5 players only. The little guys and the free to play don't really get anything from it. But if you manage it correctly, then it could really benefit everybody in the Alliance and you can help grow the power of everybody assist the smaller guys with them doing their upgrades and I, I get helping the T5s but you also can't forget about the little guys because they do help you a lot. They assist with alliance donations, flag building and as well as participating in events and they should also be rewarded. Not everything's about kill points you know. So if you do decide to set one up, try to set one up fairly you know with transparency so everyone will be happy because there's always been issues with these alliance banks and people start complaining and then whining that they've never got anything and hey, they justified complaints. Thank you for tuning in guys. And you know, a lot of you have been sending me pics of where you think my apple is, but guys, none of those are my apple. I've come to the place where I originally last saw my apple. Now I know I didn't lose it. It was taken from me. And hopefully I'll find enough clues here to find it. But if you think you have any leads, I'll put my Discord down below. Send me a message and tell me if you know where my apple is. Guys, I think I found a piece of my apple. Somebody may have bitten into it.